Living with low self-esteem is like driving through life with your handbrake on. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we have our Freddy Friday segment, where Freddy talks with us about how to love yourself and be confident. Enjoy. You left a comment on a video that I posted titled Love Yourself. You said, I want to love myself, but I don't know how because I was never taught how to love myself. And then my reply to you was, what have you done to try to start the process of loving yourself? And your response was, I really haven't. I don't even know where to start. Well, let this be the moment that you get started. Success cannot be achieved if you don't try, if you don't get started, if you don't jump. I need you to jump and put yourself in a position to land softly on your bed of dreams. You also got to eliminate, kill that negative self-talk. You always say, woe is me, you walking around with this pity party. No, it's not woe is me. Your thought process should be, oh, it's me. Because you are the one that is not putting yourself first. You are the one that continues to neglect yourself. Stop neglecting yourself. That's a major key, a major step, a major hurdle that a lot of people have to get over to begin the process of self-love. You are putting everyone ahead of you. That's why you're hurting so much. You haven't taken a second, a moment, to ask yourself, what do I want? What are my desires? What are my goals? What are my dreams? What are my aspirations? What do I like? Who am I? Who's the real me? This is the moment. The process of self-love requires you to ask yourself the hard questions. You have to get uncomfortable. You're already uncomfortable in your life. That's why you're saying you don't know how to love yourself. Know your worth. Stop allowing other people to dictate how you feel about yourself. Just because they say it does not make it law. Just because they say it does not make it factual. And even if it is, you have the power to make their words and render their words meaningless. So stop letting them break you down. Stop letting them make you feel less than. Stop letting them make you feel worthless. Because you are enough. You are worthy. Know your worth. And also, accept you as you are. Embrace your physical and mental flaws. Keep it real with yourself. There will be things that you don't like about yourself and that's okay. But they are what make you imperfectly perfect. They are what make you imperfectly the best version of yourself. So you gotta embrace it. You gotta love that little mole that you think nobody else likes. Cause it doesn't matter. We all have things that we feel self-conscious about. We all have things about us that we don't necessarily like. Be okay being you. Because the best you and the authentic and real and true you will help you love yourself. And I promise you, when people know that you're confident, I don't care what you look like. I don't care about any of that. People will flock to you because they can feel that positive energy. But until you feel that positive energy about who you are, no one else will. So accept you as you are because you are enough. Also invest in yourself. Put some time into just hanging out with you. As I always say, love you some you. Love on yourself. Be okay in the presence of you, yourself, and you. Companionship, 
friends, family is all wonderful. But it means nothing if you're not okay when people are not around or when people do things to harm you mentally or physically. You got to have yourself. You got to be your own go-to. And last but not least, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for any and all your faults. Forgive yourself for anything that you've done to personally harm yourself. Forgive yourself for continuously taking the blame for things that others have done to harm you. You gotta forgive yourself because that's when the healing begins. And never forget, if you're searching for that one person that will change your life, I want you to take a long, hard look in the mirror. And while you're standing there, repeat after me. I am enough. I am worthy. I'm here for a reason. I love me some me. And when you can look yourself dead in the eye and remind yourself of how much you love yourself, that's when you find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to begin the process of self-love. You got this. It's also a great day to win. Let's go. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.